Hey there, my name's Anna. Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about saving, investing, and spending because we only have one life to live and I don't plan on doing it like a hermit. Today, all of my coach purses are sitting behind me because I was somewhat interested in exploring how many coach bags I have. And this was largely triggered uh, by reorganizing how I store them. And I realized that like 90% of the purses I own are in fact coach and that I have been more interestingly collecting these since 2010. So this is a collection that is 10 years in the making, uh, 11, in the, 11 years now, uh, but over 10 years in the making. And I wanted to talk about some of my favorite ones, some of my least favorite ones, and ones that I would absolutely rebuy over and over and over again if I had to. So if that sounds like fun, uh, stick around. We will be looking at all my bags. So I have a little notebook here in front of me because some of these I didn't know the names of because they're discontinued. Turns out a lot of the bags I like are discontinued. Uh, but the first bag I ever received was a gift. I believe this was for my college graduation for my parents. And this is the 2010 Kristen Hobo bag. So mine comes in this really great navy, dark navy color. I wore the hell out of this when I got it. Uh, it has a really convenient shoulder strap, so you can just wear it like that. It doesn't slip off. And then more importantly, it has a um, strap that I keep inside the purse, but a really great strap in a really nice leather matching hardware that clips onto these little uh, links right here. And then you can carry it as a crossbody because even in 2010, I was a crossbody girl and you will see that with all of the bags behind me. <laughs> but anyway, this was my first ever coach and my mom actually went with me to Macy's to pick it out. Uh, we got it at the boot, like the little in-store boutique there. Uh, it comes with this hardware that you like never see. Actually, I saw someone post a photo of a similar bag that was released in this year. Uh, and somebody was like, I've never seen that hardware before. I think it's a fake. No, it's not a fake. Cause I bought this at the coach counter at Macy's, but it was, the nicest bag I'd ever had at that point. And it is kind of lined in this silky kind of material. It has the little Coach Creed on the back. It had two pockets that fit your phone and a pocket in the back to hold like, I don't know, pads, tampons, whatever. Uh, a larger pocket in the front where I always put my cell phone. But I wore the hell out of this. And it was a great bag. Um, one thing that I realized about this bag though when I started pulling it out for this video and also to like reorganize my closet is that I will never buy one of those coach tabby pillow bags because this used to be puffier and it has significantly deflated because of how unstructured this bag is. And I suspect that the coach tabby pillow, at least from what I saw at the store, is also kind of an unstructured bag. And I assume that with wear like this one, you're going to start getting like a lot of these kind of folds that you can't do anything about and overall I don't think that bag is going to look as nice 10 years down the line just like this one doesn't look as nice 10 years down the line. I have stuffed the hell out of it though in storage now so that it tries to keep its shape uh, and then when I do plan on wearing it I think I'm going to wear it as a we'll say a shoulder bag because I like the way that it fits under the arm because of this curve right here but I'm going to only wear it when I know I'm going to bring a lot of stuff so that it also helps puff it out a little bit and look less worn out. But this was my first ever coach bag and I'll probably never get rid of it because now I have sentimental attachment to it. The second coach bag I ever received was also a graduation gift. This one was actually from my brother. It was a joint graduation slash birthday gift because this was very expensive. He had just gotten a big boy job like the year before because he had graduated and I got this as a gift for finishing my master's. Uh, this is the 2013 Legacy Romy Top Handle. So this was the year that I think Coach started to finally move away from those like really ridiculous CC monogrammed bags um, and started going back to these like classic vintage shapes. And so this I saw in a flyer that was mailed to me and I don't know how they found me or my name. But this came as an ad as like their collection and all these other bags. And I had said, wow, this is a really cool bag. I would love that. 
And I said it'd be a great bag for work because it was huge. You could absolutely fit like a notebook in here. You could fit a ton of stuff. And so my brother really nicely went to the boutique at South Coast Plaza and bought this for me. And so I have like the big dust bag that comes with it, uh, the gift box and everything. And I absolutely wore the hell out of this bag. You can tell because if you hold it by the top handle, it's got this permanent dent right here that will not go away. Uh, it has corner wear. Uh, and more embarrassingly, it has color transfer that you can kind of tell. Where'd it go? There's some up here, and then there's some generally like right here. And this is from this bag being a mint green color and me wearing mostly mid to dark wash jeans. So it was, it's a great bag. I still wear it. Like I said, I took it on airplanes. That's why all the corner wear and stuff and why it's kind of misshapen because I beat the shit out of this bag. And despite that, and despite the slight color transfer, it still looks nice in, in real life. I would still wear this. I know this type of color hasn't been trendy for a really long time, so I haven't taken it out. But now that this summer, it seems like minty, paley, pastel -y colors are really in, I'll probably take this out. Um, if I'm going to like the antique market or something and I just need room to keep things like tote bags and stuff. But it also has a cross body, which is very comfortable. I keep it inside. Uh, it has interruptions from some car horn going off. Uh, it has a huge pocket back here and then just like the previous bag I showed, two pockets in the front. But this was a cool bag. I will also probably never sell this one because I would not get a lot of money for this anyway, but like my brother got this for me as a gift, so why would I get rid of it? Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great bag and when they started releasing this type of shape, that's what really got me interested in Coach again uh, and seeing what else was out there. So cool bag, love it. It fueled my love for Coach. The next bag I purchased was a small bag and this is the Pebble Leather Cross Town Chain Bag. And it is one of the few bags that doesn't have a serial number on the Creed on the inside. It has like this little tag that you can kind of see right there. That says the the make on it and like where and when it was made. Um, but I bought this in 2015. It is discontinued, as are again all the bags I pretty much own. Um, both of the first two I showed you are discontinued as well. You can't get them. Uh, this one has candy in this pocket, so that's really exciting. But I bought this for a wedding because I wanted something that was going to be bigger. I could put my phone and a, a proper wallet if I needed to. My keys. Uh, but was still cute and small and kind of dainty for uh, a dress I was wearing to a wedding. So I bought this, I believe, also at Macy's um, because it doesn't come, it didn't come with anything. It didn't actually have the dust bag. I think the lady told me that they couldn't find the dust bag for it. So I keep it in a pillowcase. But this was one of the first small cross body bags I bought for a specific occasion. And I wear this almost every single time that I go to a wedding uh, because it goes with like, 90% of my dresses that I wear for weddings. So this has actually been a great purchase. I've worn this a lot. Like I said, discontinued, but they make similar styles to this, I think every year. So cool bag. This is the chalk color, which I would absolutely recommend because it's neither white nor tan. Like I said, it goes with everything. So the first vintage bag I ever bought is to this day my best buy. This is the court bag that was made I think from like the late 70s, early 80s through early 2000. I think that's what I've read online. But this is in like the British tan. I think that's the color this is called, British tan leather. Um, it's an indestructible bag. I try and keep this flat because I actually went to a coach event uh, in 2020, right before COVID, um, where one of their preferred like in-house restores said like, oh yeah, try and keep this straight because it'll keep the, the bag looking nice. But I bought this on eBay for 45 freaking dollars. And this was 2015. This was, I think, before Vintage Coach became as popular as it is right now. Uh, because if you try and buy one of these, it sells for over $75 every single time, closer to like $90. Um, if they're really well restored, they go for over $100. I think it's like $120. I've seen most of them at. Uh, but this is my most worn vintage bag. And I try and baby it, but not too much. Um, 
it has a few scuffs from just me opening the bag and you know right here and closing it I have it stuffed because I want to maintain the shape I recently uh, conditioned it but it doesn't have really any corner where there is like one little mark here that I can't get rid of that I did so it didn't come like this when I bought it but this was the nicest bag I have ever bought on eBay and it is just freaking beautiful whoever had this before me really treated it nicely so uh first vintage bag this is what truly truly started spurring my want for coach but at the same time I was so satisfied with this purchase along with everything I already had that I didn't buy another bag for like three years and the one that I did buy was a labor of love so we'll talk about that one next uh coach Willis so this is the bag that I didn't I couldn't buy. I like literally couldn't buy it. So I was also looking on eBay because obviously they don't make these anymore. They do now. They have a, a reissued version of this. But I wanted this exact one. Um, this, <laughs> I tried buying one of these bags like five times and I was always outbid. I finally scored one in, I think it was late summer, early fall 2018. And I think I paid $75 for it, which is still a good price because I think for a while there, they were actually selling for more than that. The demand for this one seems to have dropped down, probably because the new ones are out in stores and they come in cute colors, um, whereas these are customarily found in this black color or the British tan, sometimes like, I don't know, green or something. But this was such a want for me. I loved this handle. I loved the strap on it. I just liked the way it looked in the front. It has a huge pocket on the back, so it's easy to like drop your phone into. The one thing is that because of the design, it always does this. No matter how you store this bag, even when I take the um, strap up here off and try and push it in the other direction, because of this, I think it's uh, wood or something that's in here, the wooden rod, it always tips back. So that is something that kind of annoys me. This is also an incredibly heavy bag. It is all leather. It's unlined. It is... Oh, wait, this thing is super heavy. So I, it's also bigger than I kind of thought it was going to be. So I mostly wear this uh, if I am going somewhere like for the weekend and I know I'm going to have to carry a lot of things like for, went to San Francisco or something, I brought this bag because I had room to carry like an extra tote bag in case I bought something or if I bought small things, I could drop it into this bag easily. I could fit a water bottle in here. Uh, obviously now I carry like a reusable uh, hydro flask that would never fit in here, but a standard issue water bottle didn't fit. But this is such a great bag. I have no regrets. This one actually came in worse condition than the brown one, but I have lovingly spent hours cleaning it and conditioning it. And so the luster is back. It's very smooth. Any of the scuffs have kind of faded away, but this is a great bag. I'm glad they reissued it. I really hope that they reissue the core bag. That would be like my ultimate dream so I could get in a different color. But uh, this is a fantastic bag. So if you don't want to bother trying to find an authentic one on eBay or Poshmark or Tradesy, there's a lot of fakes out there. Get one from the store. They're great. There's actually, and it's smaller. They've made a slightly smaller version of this. So it's lighter, comes in cute colors. If I didn't have this, I'd probably be stoked just to buy the one that's available right now. So after buying that one, again, like two years went by, I didn't buy another coach, I think because they started issuing ones that had like way too much bling or the hardware was too big. And as you can see from my current collection, like up until this point, I was very like minimal, even like the coach branding was very small. Uh, the first one had like the biggest clasp and but the coach writing on it was in kind of this cursive font and you couldn't really see it. So I don't love overly branded bags. And so I didn't buy anything again until 2020 when I saw these come out. And this is the Rambler 16 discontinued. <laughs> I went looking for this today online just out of curiosity to see if they have them in other colors. Not because I was going to buy one, but like just I wanted to see. They're discontinued. Why would they do that? This was such a cool bag. And this was my most worn and probably right now to this day, even though it's only a year old. It is the most worn bag I probably have. And even in the one year span, I've 
never stopped using this last year. So why would Coach discontinue this? This was also kind of like a redesign of a vintage Rambler, which I think was like a 90s bag. But this this was so cool. It came in a lot of colors. It came in like uh, in the bigger Rambler size, which was more akin to the to the original one, came in solids as well. But I loved this color block one. And despite this ridiculous pink, uh, it goes with like a lot of stuff. And if it doesn't, it's like an intentional clashing moment. It also has a crossbody strap that I take off just to kind of, you know, maintain the shape of the strap itself. But I love this bag and I cannot believe that this is discontinued. Effectively nothing I own you can buy right now, which is just such a shame because I feel like these are the cool bags that a lot of people gravitate towards and yet you just see tons of like these overly embellished ones being come out coming out and they're like a flash in the pan popular bag and then you'll probably never see those again but like these classic shapes are so cool and I wish that they would just keep one of these around for longer than a year you know it's a shame I'm just a little sad <laughs> and then the last bag I've purchased was just a couple months ago this is the Turnlock Clutch. This also says it's limited edition. So if you like this bag, you probably should get one now. Uh, this came out late last year in a bunch of colors that are no longer available. Uh, this year's colors are like this blue one, uh, a terracotta kind of like reddish color, a white, a black. There might be a tan. But if you like this style bag, which is very cool, if you take the strap off, this looks like such a cool vintage kind of like chic handbag that you just carry uh with the crossbody it is incredibly useful this is a very light bag because there's practically no hardware on it like i said minimal branding apart from the hang tag and it says blatantly inside this bag that it's limited edition so if you like it you should probably go to the store and get one now because i suspect that they will not have these next year and the only thing left to talk about are like small leather goods, things like that, wallets, etc. I'm not really a small leather goods kind of person. I don't buy a lot of pouches. I tend to keep a wallet for an eternity. Like here's, here's my full size wallet. I've had this forever. It is very worn out. It is very beat up. It is very discolored, but I'm going to keep using this until it actually rips or stuff starts falling out of it or something or it truly looks disgusting then I'll get a new wallet but uh I don't buy a lot of these kind of pouchy things because I don't really have a use for them but I did get one of these gifted to me it's a wristlet clutch you can hook it on this side as well and then just kind of um have it like one of those Louis Vuitton makes one I think it's called a mini pochette or something like that uh so then you can just carry it by this little handle but that's in this color especially, this just looks like a little girl's bag, like a child's bag. Um, but this was gifted to me also as a graduation gift. I like it because when I would run out to like the wine bar with my friends, I would just bring this. And because it has a little wrist strap, you can carry it on your hand like all the way up to your elbow and not worry that you're going to lose your stuff. Uh, I think at the time my cell phone did fit into this. It doesn't. Now my phone's too big. But uh it's from 2013. This color is unavailable, but I think Coach makes something like this every single year. So if you like a little bag like this as an organizer, I used to use this also in some of the bigger ones, um, like that legacy Romy crossbody messenger style one. I would put things like hair ties, hair pins, stuff like that in here. So they're useful. I just don't think you need a lot of them. So I have this one it's in this ridiculous color, which makes it easy to find in my purses. And I think that's good enough. So the other thing that I bought, uh, and I did buy this with my own money, was probably around the same time as that white one. So 2015. Uh, and this is just a card pouch. This is actually what I'm using now. All my money's in here. Um, but this one is big, but it's made out of fabric. So it holds like four cards inside. It has this exterior pocket, which I sometimes put like gift cards in. It, um, so that I remember to use them. It will hold your money. Inside it has like a an additional D-ring on it. Or not a D-ring, but it's got like a little ring inside that you can put your keys on and then it'll dangle off this if you want it to. I never do that. But uh, the one downside is this is made out of fabric. It has this CC logo, but it's kind of, I don't know, not as obvious. It's not like the most like in your face CC logo. Uh, but 
it's in fabric and it gets dirty. And that's the one thing that I don't like about small kind of leather goods. And then it turns out probably purses as well is no fabric because this gets so dirty. I use this all last year because it fits in that little Rambler 16 really easily and then leaves tons of room for other stuff. Uh, but I don't like the fabric because it's hard to keep clean, which is why something I don't have right now, but I know my mom bought me for my birthday uh, next month is a card case like this, but in leather, black leather on the outside here. It has a window for your driver's license and then I think one other card can slip in and then inside it's uh, a touch smaller, but like who cares? Uh, that one's in black and I will use that a lot, uh, especially if I just wanna put stuff in a pocket and not have things fall out. So that one is smaller and you can stuff in your jeans, whereas this one is a little too big and bulky. But that is my entire coach collection. Uh, I think I wrote down somewhere, if I, I think I wrote down in the notebook if I would buy anything else. I'm pretty set on what I have. Like these bags all fit my knees. I have a black bag, that court tan bag that goes with everything, uh, the little mini ones that I bought in the last two years. But is there anything that I would buy? Oh, uh, vintage bags, why? Yes. Vintage bags, wise, yes. I am very into the lunchbox style purse, which is kind of hard to find on resale sites. It went up on Coach's website out of like their pre-loved section. It was like $500. I didn't want to spend that much, but it sold and now it seems like you know, maybe someday I'll find one, but the vintage lunchbox is very cool. I also like the vintage binocular box, uh, vintage binocular bag. I think it goes by a different name as well. If I remember or can find it, I'll maybe like put it in text right here. But I love the binocular bag. It has a very cool, uh, way of closing, which is that it folds this way and then on top of itself and then, uh, buckles, which I think is cool. Um, hard to find and when they are available they're 150 dollars so that's part of why i have not considered getting one it's also a recent discovery when i was just checking out old uh old bags and then new bag wise we talked about the tabby pillow not super interested in that the cassie bags are a little too similar to this court bag so it would be a redundancy in my collection unless i just wanted something that I don't have to baby as much because I think that is made in like a pebbly leather, similar to this one. So it's like a textured pebble leather and maybe will hold up a little better um, or be more resistant to scratches. But because I have this one, I just don't have a want or need for the Cassie. Uh, the only other one that could be cool would be the Swinger in the smaller size. And I might check one of those out and see if I want one. Um, it would be nice to maybe get it in a color that is somewhere between like this and this, like a true tan, like a coffee with milk kind of color. Uh, because I think that would go with a lot of my clothing or possibly even like a grayish color. That would be nice too, like a taupey gray. But one of the swingers would be nice as a shoulder bag. I'm not really huge into shoulder bags, but like I said, I'm going to start wearing this one again because it's so easily worn as a shoulder bag. And maybe that will either reinforce my want of one of those or say, Anna, you freaking hate shoulder bags. Don't ever do that. So yeah, that's it. That's, that's my entire coach collection. It took, like I said, over 10 years to build. A lot of this stuff was gifts. Uh, some of it is vintage. Uh, I am pretty selective, as you can tell, in when I choose to add a new bag to my collection, and I probably will still be going forward, so I, I like Coach. I think that I really like where they're going with their bags, especially in the last few years, so I suspect that one of these years, something will come out that will absolutely tempt me, and I will really, really want, so... I'm not saying I'm not going to buy another coach back ever again just because all of mine fit my needs because I'm sure something will will come out eventually that I really, really love and really want. So uh, thank you for joining my video. If you liked it, feel free to comment below with 
maybe a suggestion on what kind of vintage or new bag I should add to my wish list. If you think some of the bags that are on my wish list are going to be duds, hey, tell me. I would love to know if there's something wrong with like the binocular bag and I shouldn't get it. Uh, also, if you like my channel, feel free to subscribe. Like I said, I tend to oscillate between saving and spending topics. So, uh, you know, I'll continue talking about bags. I'll probably continue purchasing bags and I will intermittently talk about my savings goals. But if any of that sounds like fun or if you think I'm fun, I'd appreciate if you subscribed. If not, that's fine. And I hope you guys have a nice day. I have not yet decided how I want to close out these videos. So I'll just say, remember to drink water and wear lots of sunscreen. All right. Bye guys.